So right off the bat, there is an issue with Killer Sofa, and that it's not a sofa, it's a recliner. I mean, maybe in New Zealand, where this movie is made, it's a New Zealand horror movie, um, maybe that's what they call recliners, sofas, but at the same time, you've got the actors in the movie calling it a recliner, so... And as we learn, the recliner is possessed by a dibuk, which is a, uh, it's a Jewish demon. And basically the dibuk, it like latches onto you until it's like done with you. Of course, this recliner ends up in the, the household of uh, Francesca, who is Pimio Mi. I'm probably butchering her name. And there's a really weird dream sequence that might not actually be a dream, but I'll get into that in a little bit. But she's sitting in the chair and she's getting aroused. Like she's doing nothing. Like she's literally just sitting in the chair. Like there's nobody around her. She's not touching herself. She's just like touching the recliner and she's getting aroused. Now onto the, maybe it's not a dream because she wakes up the next morning, she's in her bed, but like somebody made her breakfast and it was the recliner. The recliner made her breakfast. <laughs> And we also learn about Francesca is men always get obsessed with me. It's like, okay, you're beautiful, but every man gets obsessed with you. I, I, that's kind of weird, but okay, sure. Um, and to like punctuate that, one guy breaks into her flat and he has sex with her bra and her hat. <laughs> It is an absolutely ridiculous scene, and thankfully, the recliner comes and just takes this guy out. But wait! It now does make sense, but not really, of why men are obsessed with her, because it turns out she has the spirit of an occult serial killer inside of her who did the same thing, apparently, and the serial killer's lover is what's possessing the chair but eventually we see inside of the chair and there's a there's a body in it with no face but that person might be dead already i guess so he was the one possessed by the other guy and that's what possessed the chair i'm not sure at one point uh maxi who is uh natalie morris uh she gets some like a fucking piece of glass like stuck in her forehead like it's actually sticking out of her forehead and somebody says to her are you okay it's like she has a piece of glass sticking out of her head dude no she's not okay and then there's the recliner which the poster makes it look like it's this scary beast looking thing with sharp teeth and blood dripping from the fangs but when we finally actually see it like come to life its eyes its mouth it is one of the lamest fucking things you'll ever see. So Killer Sofa, really Killer Recliner, it's actually got some decent acting. It's not terrible. Um, it's it's really dumb story overall. A lot of it does not make any sense, not a lick of sense. And it does feature a very interesting ending that could potentially lead to a sequel, but I kind of hope there isn't. But if there is, I will watch it. <laughs> Um, and it's got fantastic humor. I, I did not expect this movie to be as funny as it was. I give Killer Sofa... Mm, I'm going to give it three shits. Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see a new craptacular horror review every week. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or if you have a film you'd like to see reviewed in the future. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.